so hello again so back here it's not raining today i haven't really sorted out anything better than the bag because it's uh haven't i, I thought i'd just come out because it's dry but i've still got my coat uh we'll go into the woods and uh and i realized when i was going through the footage that i hadn't actually explained <laughs> My the I, don't, I just went from one thing to another, so I'll try and... Anyway, I've done some drawings, and I'll show you that in, in a moment, illustrating what I was trying to get to yesterday. Um, so, yep, let's go. Yep. So I'm going to settle down here, if I'm in camera. I'm going to put my stuff down here. It's an acceptable seat. The ground's still wet, so uh, I'll get set up here, and then I'll show you the picture that I drew, illustrating the theory that I've uh, I've had. So I'll get myself sorted out, get my blanket out, and make a nice little comfortable spot. Yeah. So this is the the sequence that I did last night and it's so ignore those two it's just this one to start with so a pixie will arrive at a new location with a worm egg that he's found somewhere else and he'll put it somewhere and then he'll nurture this little egg as it grows up he'll and then it, when it hatches he'll bring it live prey that's a little mouse that I've drawn there and uh, and as this thing gets older and older um, it gets to a point where it'll require prey that, that, that the pixie doesn't want to catch because it's dangerous so he'll 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 bring in some meat, probably from a, a smaller prey, like a mouse. Um, the worm won't want that because he's after live prey, but that will attract a predator like, uh, like, like this, like a badger. And he'll come in, he'll eat the meat, the worm will k on the badger, and then any scraps and leftovers the pixie can, can get. So he'll get larger meals from, uh, from only having to bring in smaller prey. Now, the problem with this theory is you know, worms are reptilian and they tend to eat their prey whole. I only thought of that afterwards. But anyway, that's, that's, that's my theory. So I've done a little outline there. This is what I can gather from what I've seen of him. Uh, so I don't really know what his, I'm going to have to use a bit of artistic license on his face. I know that he's wearing some sort of um, trouser-like thing and he's got this uh, cape which appears to be, and I've seen this before, made of hedgehog skin. <laughs> and uh, the reason why they have that is for protection from birds. They don't like to attack it because of their, they don't like to get their feet on, on the spikes. And that's why they wear that. And he's also got some feathers. That's a similar thing. They don't like to attack um, when they don't know what it is. Because from above, they'd see these feathers and that. So that's where I am. I've got him carrying his bow. He didn't have that yesterday. Um, uh, yeah, so that's the structure of it. And I'll, I'll carry on with that for a bit. <laughs> Just check the camera and it was slightly out of focus on the last one. So this is where I am now. Got, uh, so I've got him carrying a little knife here. Uh, I wasn't quite sure whether to put the bow in or not. Might be slightly overkill. So that's his hedgehog skin. And that would be dark here because that's in the shadow there. So annoyingly, I left my eraser and that one's gone right down to the nub. So I can't really... I wanted to erase a little bit. Well, it sort of does work a little bit. So that's pretty much it. I was just finishing off some little bit of ground down here. 
I'll, I'll probably neaten this up. There's a few errors. And I didn't give him a quiver for the bow, uh, for the arrows, of course. Although I'm not quite sure where he put that. Um, some of them are down here, so maybe that was... Anyway, it doesn't have to be uh, completely accurate. It's the... Uh, it's just an impression of of him. So there, you know, I'll just I'll do some more on it, but I, I can't. I, I might do that tonight. So I've had no. I've heard nothing since I've been doing that picture of him. He's not turned up. Maybe he's offended by his <laughs> portrait. I think I'll make a cup of tea and then I'll, I'll have a little scout around again for the umpteenth time. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, it's properly raining now. I was just in this open space just to see if I could uh, stay away from limbs and get a view of him but I, I need to get in because uh, I don't like uh, getting wet so I'll say goodbye and then we'll, we'll uh, come back as soon as I can. Cheerio!